and uh, says hi sweetie but I think he was talking to me first so um, he said mom just called today to remind me that it's your dad's birthday party this weekend and ask if I had some things that I remembered to pass along there are so many memories let's see if I can come up with a few so then he just lists a bunch of memories I'll read a few to you he says when he was in second grade he remembers you coming up the stairs on Halloween night at our house on at their house on Hubbard Street and um, he remembers you had on a rubber face mask with a cigarette hanging out of your mouth right where the little hole was there he said that was a memento memory for him he said he remembers you gave him his first toolbox with a small hammer and a saw he remembers that being at a party at your house on Kibby and all the grown-ups were drinking beer not really. <laughs> and he said Aunt Ina. I think it says Aunt Ina. He thought her name was Nina, but they got such weird names. It has to be Aunt Ina, I think. <laughs> Ina, Ina, Ona. Um, she had on a full skirt with petticoats, and each time she'd walk past Dad, he'd grab her hem and toss it up. <laughs> Hard to believe, but... So he, Doug thought, this is my cousin Doug, he thought that was really funny, so next time she walked by him, he did the same, tossed it up, and... He said he got slapped so fast and what happened. So must be, you know, double standard. Um, being at, this, uh, at the house on Claire, and he said Dad, um, Doug was learning how to play the accordion, which Doug said it was a very painful memory for him. For him, But he said Dad picked up the accordion and, and played a song ten times better than Doug could ever imagine. And he, then he said he picked up a saw and a violin bow and started playing it. <laughs> That was weird. He said it, he thought that was the most amazing thing he had ever seen. I said, I don't remember that. I'm sorry. Um, I'll show you something. Oh, good. He said that he had brought a baseball glove and softball over to your house, and you pitched a few to him, and you threw so hard that he stung his hands for days, he said, from your old baseball days. He said he remembers marching with you in the American Legion parade, 4th of July, going to the beer garden afterwards. and. First, he says that's the first he remembers being in one of them and feeling really grown up. And he says he remembers the summer when Grandma and Grandpa Oswald stayed here and, and uh, you helped them build the garage for Aunt Dorothy and Uncle John. And he said he was staying at our place and you were driving out to Clarkston and on the radio was Nat King Cole singing Ramblin' Rose. He says he always remember you singing out Ramblin' Rose, pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, you are truly a special man, and he says, you have always, he says, I mean always, been his favorite uncle. And he hopes you have a wonderful day and that we all enjoy the party. Wish I could be there, love, Doug. So I will save this for you.